have two impact issues during flight. At the top of the rocket, you'll notice a large nose cone. This is called the fairing. Encapsulated inside the fairing are all, are all 88 satellites, protecting them until the vehicle is outside of the Earth's atmosphere, at which point the fairing separates to expose the satellites to space. For today's mission, our fairing is making its third flight, and we're also going to be attempting to recover the fairing halves from the water following landing with our chartered recovery vessel, HOS Briarwood. The chief engineer held a technical poll at T minus 60 minutes, and the launch director held a propellant load and launch go no go poll at T minus 38 minutes. Hey. Since the T minus 35 minute mark, Falcon 9 has been loading propellants. Uh, the vehicle is a bi propellant vehicle, which means it uses two types of propellants. For fuel, a refined form of kerosene called RP1, and for oxidizer, Raining. super chill liquid oxygen, we also refer to that as box. Currently, RP-1 is fully loaded on the second stage and almost fully loaded on the first stage. Liquid oxygen loading is currently underway. We're also loading helium into storage vessels on the first and second stages. We take cold helium and run through heat exchangers on the Merlin engines, and this hot helium is used to fill the empty volume in the tanks created by the engine pumps pulling the ton out of the stage. A few seconds ago, engine chill began. Uh, began. This is where we uh, opened the pre valves between the first stage top tanks and the nine Merlin engines. This allows a little bit of cold liquid oxygen to flow into the turbo pumps, bringing them down to a temperature close to that of the super chill propellant that will soon be flowing through the engines at liftoff. We're at T minus six minutes and 30 seconds in counting. The vehicle is healthy. We're tracking no issues so far. The range is standing by to support, and the weather is green for today's liftoff. All systems continue to be go for an on-time liftoff at 3.31 p.m. Eastern time. Today's launch will mark SpaceX's 20th mission of the year and the 127th mission to date. Of the nine missions flown so far this year, 18 were on reuse booster and will be the eighth flight for this booster flying on today's mission. Now, if you look at all the Falcon 9 missions SpaceX has flown to date, half have been flown on flight-proven boosters. Reusability allows SpaceX to fly the most expensive parts of the rocket, which in turn drives down the cost of space access. It also allows us to increase our launch cadence and provide more flight opportunities for our customers like those on board today's mission. In fact, last year, we launched more than any other launch provider in the world. If you've been keeping track, you know our first transporter mission launched a record-breaking 143 spacecraft. And while there are fewer customer spacecrafts on board today's compared to Transporter 1, we're actually launching more mass to orbit on this mission than the previous one. SpaceX is targeting three dedicated rideshare flights to sun-synchronous orbits per year. And we also offer opportunities for a ride to orbit on our Starlink missions, which launch every couple of weeks. Small satellites can ride to space on SpaceX's Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, as well as Starship in the not-too-distant future. We are under five minutes from liftoff. Falcon 9 is now moving into the final stages of the countdown. In a few moments here, the strong back will begin to open up its climb arms, and once open, it will begin to retract away from the rocket to its pre-launch position, about two degrees away from the vehicle. And as Falcon 9 lifts off, hydraulic arms will continue to pull the strong back further away uh, to provide clarity for lift off. So there was the call up for the count plant arms to start opening up. They are situated right at the bottom of the fairing there. He got cold. The strong back is part transporter director also called the TE. The TE's job is to roll yeah, Falcon, you can Falcon see the 9 out to the launch pad, raise it to a vertical launch position. But it's cloud cover, so it's going to be really hard. You only see it for a second. And, and it's very windy, so. The TE has a launch mount that the first stage is clamped to, and the strong bag that is hinged to that launch mount. <laughs> Second stages are almost fully fueled. 
29. That is the chilling of the Burma in the October months.
down now. Yeah, nature. Yeah, I got my hand in front of my phone over my mic. turn it is but we have up front we have two we got two storms forming one is like at 80 percent god knows where it's gonna go yes it's coming back nancy we haven't had one of these but we have no drone ship our drone ship that we used um just went through the panama canal two days ago it's going back out to california You can't get into HAPS, Tina? How come? I'm, I'm watching it, y'all. I'm watching it. Right. You also notice some honeycomb-like structures have deployed uh, on the first stage on the left-hand side. Uh, that, that Those are our four hypersonic rib dance positioned at the base of the inner stage. They help to orient the rocket during re-entry by moving the center of pressure. Um, there's also some plumes of gas coming out. Uh, this is cold nitrogen gas, which helps with attitude control. Both are essential Hopefully we'll get some to make sure that we have a nice the wind targeted landing back on landing zone one later on in today's mission. Second burn, the entry burn is coming up in about 30 seconds. Watch for that on the left hand side. Uh, you can also uh, see there's a speedometer of sorts uh, on the bottom left hand side that tracks Three. the speed of the first Three stage. And when we begin the entry burn, we we'll start to reduce the speed. And shortly after the entry burn ends, um, we'll get the dense parts of the atmosphere and also begin to further reduce our velocity as Just the first stage continues to make its way back towards Earth. Yeah, So we're gonna watch for it to come back. It's got one burn and then I'll have a stage two. Stage two. Big beans, right? I I didn't have to log in every single time. Oh, if you have Android, you do. And are currently slowing down the first stage. 
this burn is expected to last for another 15 seconds or so. First century burn. There it is. Coming down. Right there. Coming down. Shortly after that, we'll be entering a coast phase. And you can see the Florida coast and landing zone one are approaching on the left hand side of the screen as this booster makes its attempt to land for an eighth time. This is a great shot of the first stage coming down with its landing zone. Thank you, internal guidance. No, go back and look at the video. It's there. I promise you. It was to the left. Well, I can't see my screen. My screen is like dark as hell. My phone's got that built-in protector that it dims when you're in the day. We'll have to, I'll have to go back and look. So hopefully... I guess our next launch will have to have a landing back here because we don't have, I guess it woke them up. Oh, look. Here, open the door. Open the door. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was wide and then I kind of zoomed in. I thought I had it in there. It's really hard. It's far. It's really far away. No, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Thank you. Bye, he too. I was sleeping. Yeah. What did the sonic booms wake you up? Mm, the first launch part woke me up, and I fell back asleep. Oh. <laughs> and the sonic boom woke me up. I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah, I can't. My phone is so dark. I can't see an iPhone for that. It gets so dark you can't it's see too anything. Hot. It's overheating and protecting the display. My phone is not. Feel my phone. My phone is not hot. Compared to I just other things. The button. Oh, you're fine. My phone is not hot. I don't know. Ask Michael Jackson. So, disappeared when zoomed. Okay, I have to go back and look. The Murph mobile is filthy from all the rain. So, but all right, everyone, I'm out of here. I will catch everyone um, later on this evening. Thank you, everyone. Oh, 350. Oh, I'll have to go back and look at everyone what they gave me. I'm sorry I missed it, but thank you for everyone. You did see the flash of light as it was coming down? Okay. 
Yeah, I'll go back and look. All right, yeah, everyone have a great day. Yeah, we need to get some stuff done. It's the end of the month, so I got to get some stuff that I was supposed to do yesterday done. So, look, he's already getting mad. Look at him. Yeah, because you're wasting my time. Oh. See, he's getting mad, y'all. So.